happened. We've come along a lot in the last 37 years since we decided not to join the EU. To help you understand, here's Ireland's newest TV personality sensation. from life here in Ireland. We'll see you later, Mary! See you later, Amy! And don't forget the tea at half one, yeah? No problem, honey! Here we see the typical Irish businessman on his way to work. Notice the charming family life and idyllic pace. Compare this to... See you later, Olga! The Swedish businessman. How can he possibly cope the extra stress and pressure that having an expensive car, nice house and a secure job brings? educational system. I'm here at a traditional Irish secondary school where students are educated not just in academia but in all aspects of life including social and emotional intelligence uh, into Dunk! Dunk! Oh! oh get up! Oh. Get crap! Oh, <laughs> here we see a typical European school. Lots of money in EU grants but no sense of community. Where is that pompous EU grant principle? Hello, I'm a Mr. Mancini. Hello, welcome to our school, Mr. Duncan. Come in, come in, come in. As you can see, I found it difficult to stand this man's overbearing pomposity and lack of understanding of how education really works. On the education side of things, I think it's fair to say Ireland won, EU zero. We've examined many aspects of life in Ireland and life in the EU during the course of this documentary. I think we can all agree that Ireland's choice not to join the EU was the best decision it could ever have made. This is Duncan Stewart, thank you for watching. Today we must stand where we shall be glad of